good stuff down here at ground level as uh, Reed is taking a look from uh, upper levels. And uh, with our winds turning to the south, it's pumping in heat and humidity. And those winds have been brisk. Look at these gusts across the state. And within the past hour, a gust of 26 miles an hour at Reagan National down at D.C., gusting to 25 in Westminster, 28 at York, 29 mile an hour gusts coming out of the south. In southern Delaware around Georgetown, with the temperatures uh, climbing and the humidity levels rising as well, it's a steamy July afternoon. Temperatures are in the low 90s around central Maryland onto the eastern shore, and even back into parts of western Maryland near Hancock, pretty warm. 91 degrees out there in western Maryland. And with the heat and humidity building, some storms are also starting to pop up. Those pink shaded counties up in Pennsylvania are under a severe thunderstorm watch this evening. So there have been some strong cells, but notice they're tracking mostly southwest to northeast. So right now, that line of storms up in Pennsylvania not a, a major threat to us, although some of those storms could break off and leak down toward the Pennsylvania Maryland line over the next couple of hours. We'll certainly be monitoring that possibility. For the Baltimore area, in general, though, partly cloudy and mild. Our normal low this time of year is 67 degrees, and for most areas, we're going to be a little above that, upper 60s and low 70s for the vast majority of the region. Now, this front that's triggering the showers and storms will be getting a little closer tomorrow, so our thunderstorm chances inch up, and then a secondary push of cool air coming in from the north and west will bring another front in here on Wednesday. So for the next couple of days, shower and thunderstorm chances are going to be there, along with the warm and muggy conditions. You'll see on InstaWeather Plus Futurecast a band of showers and storms breaking out late afternoon into the evening tomorrow with partly cloudy skies. I think Wednesday averages out mostly cloudy. That'll keep the temperature down by just a couple degrees, but it'll still be muggy. And as you can see, widespread showers and storms in the area on Wednesday. Right now, we think that front will get just far enough south of us on Thursday to let the skies clear around Baltimore. Some of the showers may linger in southern Maryland or right on the coast, but I think for Baltimore, a little cooler and less humid with partly cloudy skies to finish the week. Tomorrow, we're still in the muggy side of the front, 89 to 94 degrees, feeling quite steamy too. Southwest winds at 10 to 15, and about a 20 to 30 percent chance of an afternoon thunderstorm. Small craft advisory on the bay tomorrow. Winds out of the southwest will occasionally gust to 20 knots, and a couple thunderstorms may bubble up as well, so be on the lookout for that. In western Maryland, the thunderstorm chances are a little bit better out there. 80 percent chance tomorrow, 30 percent chance. On Wednesday, on the eastern shore, just a real steamy July day tomorrow, but 95 degrees and feeling hotter with the humidity. Along the coast, including Ocean City, temperatures in the mid 80s, main chance for thunderstorms on Wednesday. The seven day forecast for Baltimore then high temperatures in the low 90s tomorrow, upper 80s Wednesday, a little less humid, slightly cooler Thursday, Friday. Saturday looks good, might pick up a thunderstorm in the afternoon on Sunday.